Hey guys, welcome back to another Arc Dev Kit tutorial. So, in this episode, we're going to be looking at custom dino spawners. Now, in my last video, we covered how to set up a volume for spawning and how to control what spawns in there from the pre made ones that come with the dev kit. So, if you haven't got your map set up for that already, you need to go back and watch my last video. I'll put a link to that up now, and there'll also be one in the description, of course, as well. And once you've done that, you can then move on to this next step, which is slightly more complicated, which is involves making your own spawner. So this is good for if you want modded dinos to spawn, if you're working on a dino mod and you want to make them spawn in your map, or if you just are working on a map maybe with really specific biomes and you want to get a specific dino to spawn somewhere, then you can use this process to do that. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is obviously go to our world settings and make sure this is still ticked, our editor enable NPCs, because without that, we're not going to be able to do anything. And then we just need to go down to our NPC zone manager. And then we're going to go to details tab and our NPC spawn entries. As you can see, we've got a drop down menu here. And these are all our pre-made spawn blueprints. Now, the blueprints are what the Unreal Engine uses to script certain things. So you use, you use blueprints for all sorts of stuff throughout the engine. And this is one of the uses here is to create the spawners. So we're actually going to be making our own blueprint in order to do this. So we're going to close this drop down menu and click this little plus icon here that says create new blueprint. Here we go. You can see we've got this now. I'm just going to name it so that we can find it again. Let's call this one call it dino spawn underscore sheep because I haven't really seen many of the new sheep in the game yet. So I thought we'll make this one and we'll have them spawn on the beach so we can go have a look at them as well. There we go. Now we've made that. It should open up a window. Here we go. So this is our blueprint editor. Up here we've got our different options, and then we've got our compiling. That's what we do at the end, and our save as well, which is obviously very important because otherwise, when you close the dev kit, this asset won't be saved, and you'll come back to no spawn entry. So these are our basic three options here, but we're going to expand them out a bit. So first, we've got our NPC spawn entries. Let's click this little plus icon here and expand this. And here we go. Things are getting a little bit more complicated now. Let's give it a name. Let's call it Sheep because that's actually what the Ovis is called in the dev kit. They don't really call things by their dino names, they just do it shorthand. So now we need to select what we want it to spawn. So we're going to add an element. And then here, with this drop down menu, these are all the different dinos that are currently in game. So we'll just search for Sheep in here. Here we go. Sheep character. Now I'm only going to have the Sheep spawn in mine, but if I wanted more elements, all I have to do is click this. Get the drop down menu again, and I can choose something else to spawn as well in that area. So we'll get rid of that. And these are some of the other options you can have a play around with. I'm not really going to cover them in this because they do vary depending on what map you're creating. I'm just going to do enough to get the dinos to spawn in and wander around, and then leave it up to you guys to decide what you want to do for your map. So we're going to leave the level offsets alone. We don't need to do anything with that. We've got the multipliers here as well. It's quite useful if you're doing a cave, you can have them spawn at, you know, the maximum level can be twice the normal difficulty of the server, etc. We're not going to do any of that for now. And then down here, we've got our distance from structures, players, and tame dinos. That's also obviously good if you're going to be having a map that's quite PvP orientated, then you might want them to not spawn too close to other players and their structures. But if it's a PvE based map, you might want them to actually spawn a little bit closer to tame dinos so that you don't get the horrible official server look of barely any dinos everywhere because everyone's got huge bases covering up everything. So we don't really need to do anything with these. This is obviously for our water dinos here. We've got our water height. That's for like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. They obviously can't go past a certain height in the water. That's what that's used for. Different difficulty level ranges for different types of dinos. All that stuff. For now, that should do. We should get some sheep spawning in. So we're going to click compile. Wait for that to finish up. And then save. There we go. That's all done. So now we should have sheep spawning in our little spawn volume. So let's jump down into map and have a look. Here we go. And as you can see, we have got some little sheep running around now. This isn't a particularly full tutorial on how to do this, I just thought I'd cover this because there were a couple of requests in the comments and now I've shown you guys this, you know the basics around it and you can play around with your map to decide what you want to do and what works best. As you can see, 
these should be perfectly tameable sheep. Just do a do tame. There we go. Now we can ride them. And everything's functional about them. Perfectly normal. And there we go. Well, I know this video is a little bit shorter than they usually are, but I just wanted to get this out just to show you guys, you know, the basics of how to create this so that you're not waiting on anything. Because I know that the, the amount of other tutorials for the dev kit on YouTube is quite small. So I don't want to hold you guys up too much. But there we go. We now have sheep on our map. And of course, we could have done that with any dinos. And you can mix them up the way you want as well. We could have had sheep spawning at the same time as alpha raptors or a big mix up of like, sheep and RGs and carnos. It could have been crazy. But we we'll just keep it like this and it is good to make one to start with with just one dino in it and a passive one so you can go and check that it all works okay without getting instantly destroyed but once you've done that you can start to mix up and create the ones that you need for your biomes so i hope this video helped you guys out if it did of course please leave a like and comment if there's anything else you want to see in the dev kit specifically and i'll try and get onto that as soon as possible and then of course subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future thanks for watching Thank you.